Tonight, there is a Ukrainian woman living on Long Island that is extremely worried about her family still in Ukraine. And now she wants to do more to help. And as CBS News Leia Mishkin shows us, her small community is now stepping up in a big way. Inside a coffee shop in a community of several thousand people is where you'll find Sasha Johnstone. The Ukrainian native has worked at Karmic Rhine in Locust Valley for more than two years. Our community is sm so small, everybody knows everybody, and it's just the news spread out so quickly. John Stone can't fly back to be with her family in western Ukraine because she's in the green card process. Her parents, grandparents, and younger brother are there. Waking up is the first thing I do. I check in on them, check in on them every hour. Are they online? Is everything okay? The 27 year old felt helpless watching the images coming out of her country. She says she channeled that energy and figured out what she could do from the U.S. A lot of this is for children, is that because children's hospitals right now are in need of... Yeah, a lot of children are just, you know, they, it's really sad they're relocating, like, sick children into the basement. A shipping company based in New Jersey is collecting medication and hospital supplies to send overseas. Johnstone sat outside her coffee shop with a Ukrainian flag, telling anyone who stopped about the ways they could help. We had a man yesterday drive all the way from Iceland just to pop by and say hello and, you know, say kind words and check in on me. In just three days, she's collected a room full of supplies. She's also raising money to send to a women and children's shelter in Lviv, not far from the Polish border. I don't even have words to describe how, how amazing it is to see everyone show up and stand up and unite. There's a famous quote, one person can make a difference and everyone should try. Sounds like Sasha Johnstone in Locust Valley, Long Island, Leia Mishkin, CBS 2 News.